everyone and welcome back to the channel, it's me Farmer Envoy Stream here and here we are back on Silver and Force with the train. That is because we've got some prefabricated walls to sell because we've got two or three, yep, two prefabricated walls here and we don't need them yet but before we get along with anything I'm going to show you a couple of clips I've worked on off camera are things like getting the money up because I did say in that episode we was going to do some container work, get that money up with that great demand for containers, and it has really benefited us, as you'll see later on in the episode. Our little goose egg trailer here loaded up. I should have got the bigger trailer, but oh well. But we've got the trailer here for now, and we need to get that loaded up. Set while I just I'm gonna just tweak the audio sensor a sec. And that wood beam is still up on the roof, not sure how to recover that. I can get up there. Perhaps get up there, get a little piece of wood or something. Yeah, perhaps my thing is get up there, get a piece of wood and just knock it off perhaps, but could I be clever? Send the forks out wide and will I be able to grab both at once? Because for these walls we should get about 17 ish grand for each, and that will help us because, as you'll probably see in the thumbnail, we are spending a lot of money. I can tell from the wood that we did off camera, I think it was something like 500 ish grand we earned. For some reason, it's not let this into the train. So, there we go. Should get about three, four grand for this. Not sure what the flicking textures are, but yeah, I think until we need around three hundred-ish grand to get the last piece of equipment we need, thirty-three grand. So yeah, not too far off. So yeah, we need about another 200-ish or so grand, I think. But yeah, we'll hop into the pickup and then we'll go down to the town where we'll supply a lot of these stuff to the road coaster. We still have the pepper grinders and bowls. Somehow we managed to lose the pallet of pepper grinder as I was doing it off camera in town. The pallet went flying as they have been doing lately, but for the life of me, I cannot find where they've gone to. Yeah, it's yeah, pallet of pepper grinders. We've got 1,000 of your pepper grinders, 2,000 euros of bowls, and then a mixture of wood beams, planks, uh, floor and tiles, and a bit of metal. For money sakes, perhaps it's best to sell it at the Elm Creek, get it on to actually watch it and um, it is a multi year project and you will see if you sort of watch it overnight, depending on I think it's like the stages and that, so we just it's all the material needs now for the first stage or first step off stage walk. The first step in because yeah there's about eleven steps in three big stages, stages one is one to four steps. Stage two is set five, and I think it's six till eleven is another one. See, so yeah, as we are approaching the shop here, you'll probably tell by the thumbnail, but I am going to sort of elude my eyes here. I 
of what we've got and but yeah we've pretty much got everything I think we need spoiler but yeah I think we've got all the stuff we need for the foreign and stuff and now for the forestry yes it's just glad to actually own everything so yeah that's all that Things like metal, floor tiles and that. Oh yeah, also got some contracts here to complete. But yeah, so they're floor and tiles, so... Besides from the train... If I go to find the right tab... Prices! So go down here... No, not these. So the train is best, silver and market. You know what? We're just over here, so let's go to silver and market. So we're at two hundred and fifty one grand. Yeah, so four tiles would be more needed at the um, what's it, boating yard. However, until we get sheep on the way, get some fabric and that, I'm not too worried about getting everything to the boat yard at the moment. Is there anything in second market? Nope. That's how this we just bought this trailer in between episodes, and this morning. That popped up in the second hand market. Lovely, so. For what we want, we want a tractor. Obviously, before I did say about getting the John Deere 9X3T, however, that does not have a front three point hitch, and we need something with a three point hitch. But yeah, look at that. Even 250 grand for a 500 horsepower tractor. That is nice. So you got options for the rear attacher, but nothing for the front. Four hundred five horsepower for the Massey Ferguson. Perhaps something like a vent. Oh, you know what? This is... Need just a little bit more money. Actually, I do know a location of one collectible, because I really do want the case. We'll fast forward till about 11 o'clock, see if anything pops up in the second hand market. I very much doubt it will. I'll give it to noon. Nothing pops up by noon then. So 
So there we go. And butt kiss, so that sucks. However, I do know a location of one more collectible at least. And it's here at the mine shaft. You can see that pass back up to the top. And there's one down here, but there is one up there, so we'll go up here. That's when you all go about finding these collectibles, but remember, once they're once you collect them all, they're gone. So we do need to be a bit smart about this. This is why Yeah, with what I'm planning, is it worth it what we're doing? I don't think it'll be worth it, but it's one of the things is until plan comes to fruition, you just never know, so I did see one up here, it's not up there. So I did have a look up there when we visit my shaft off camera, but apparently there's one near the ledge over here somewhere. Oh there it is. Oh look at that. Nice wolf. So now we're at 400 grand. Anything in the second market. I guarantee if a good large tractor pops off in the second market for a three point hit, Shaka does. But yeah, like 370 for us, more we need. Like 300 is the minimum I think we need. But yeah, we'll go with twin wheels. Why not? All on the monitors, US. We could go with tracks. Three hundred and fifty-nine grand. So now, let's go down to the shop and have a look at what we've been spending our money on. Uh, it's the thumbnail. Uh, what we've gone for exactly here? Oh, so, obviously we got our tractor. We got a tree devourer because we are going to get rid of all the little annoying trees. We've got the what tree is this again? You got the lizard tortoise trailer by Umatona, and actually, what's right here? I should do want to thank someone because someone in a recent video did actually point this out to me. Not sure who it was. Ah, uh, John Davis? Oh, uh, Dravis, sorry, John Dravis. Yeah, thanks for the idea. So, yeah, this is just about the Lizard Tardis XL in our second episode where we bought the old sawmill. And, uh, oh, yeah, the forest pickup that we use as well works with rocks. On the contracts, I'll just be collecting them before they're done. Makes sense. But yeah, thank you, John, for that. So we got two of those. We got a normal trailer like that. But also, what we got is a basically a forage wagon. This is a two hundred thousand liter capacity. Next, we got the wind rower. Uh, it's because we are going to get sheep out, so we want to field, get some hay, grass in. Of course, we got our Volvo there, our two trailers. We got a Tesla. So, nice little moments up here with the Easy Crone pack. So yeah, this is pretty much all we need. And actually, realizing this, we are outgrowing the yard. No, honestly, we are. We're actually outgrowing it. We actually have outgrown it, so we need to do something about that for sure. So it's unfold pipe. We have unfolded the pipe. So yeah, pretty much what I'm just going to do is just go around, get 
get rid of all the stumps and that, because I do want to tie this up, or at least in this episode, start work involved. Because when we tie this up, eventually, we do want to replant this, and no snow is forecasted for this year, but for this month as well. But there is snow forecasted for January, so. Yeah, these like little trees, like these trees, these like little five meter trees and that. We aren't going to do anything with them, it's just not worth our time. I may come to regret that later on when we need timber desperately for the productions and that. But yes, at the moment, not in a major rush to cut them down. Again, let's go up. So yeah, what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to continue on this for a bit. And yeah, I'll see if I'm just going to get this all done, or just a part of it. I'm not too sure yet. We'll figure it out when we get there. stumps and that and we're here to do some dead with contracts we've already completed one so we'll get you for a nice 1800s and yeah just tactic of doing dead wood is just simply look at a tree dead cut it down and we aren't going to process it or anything because it ain't worth jack in terms of the actual research of timber you get is about 50 ish or so liters, so yeah, we really do want those. And 
and in the in between episodes we did do a little mistake because see here this is Deadwood however it's just outside apparently of where we can do so we won't chop that down because if we chop that down even if it's a Deadwood tree if it's an old tree or a Deadwood tree if you chop it down for us in this contract which is 2850 we will lose how much? Uh, I think it's about two grand we're going to do so I think yeah you get about an extra 50 quid afterwards if you cut down one tree by mistake so so that is then more trees we need to find and my tactic is just look up look for dead woods and actually make sure it actually falls within our boundary I was thinking also with the wood chips and that, we did actually cut some good trees out that I could have used for six meter logs. I may come to regret that because we could do with some more wood selling. Because there is a production on what to buy. It's not the one that comes with the map, it's a modded one. But basically, it's the biomass heating plant. And that requires wood chips. It costs 160 grand and. That's why we're getting wood chips, just because timber. Yeah, make a bit of passive income, because that's the thing I think we need to look at at some point is making passive income. Oh, I see a dead wood over there. Things like turbines and that, so panels, we will have a look at that at some point. Oh, that nearly hit us. I'm just going over here, see if there's any... Because there's a couple of trees here that is within our boundary. But none of them are dead ones. So we need to find six more trees, so... Funny enough, sometimes it's actually quite... That's dead. No, that is... Lodgepole Pine. find more trees to find but yeah sort of general plan of where we're gonna go obviously one thing is like the road coast we need to get building that's outside the boundary yeah we're gonna get the road coast to build also just look at that just expanding yes I said me not not sure if we did we say it or not but we may do some form of arable farming not a heavy amount. And so stuff has come up in the used market. Something should have popped up by now, but nope. Let's see any more deadwood trees. There is, but is it within our property? That one is. And I think it's like four or three more we need to find. Four more. That is out just outside of our property line. Oh, there's two. Nope, that's outside of our property. But it see means I'll fall. Oh yes, yeah, some dead wood. But nope, look at the main map. Is that Where it is the other oop, bits of dead wood? She ain't looking up like this. Oh, there's one. But yeah, as far as it is quite dense, right in places, so, <coughs> so that's one thinking. Oh, there's another one. But yeah, also the reason why we're sort of clearing where we are before we replant any trees is because that is going to be a... Whoa, that was close. Because we do want to replant the trees and 
I want to make it a bit of a, like a little dense forest as well. Make it nice and dense and hopefully they should grow as tall as these trees. The pine, the pine, 36 meters. Is that within the property line? No, that's just outside. So yeah, bear with me a sec. I'm going to look for this ash tree here because I cannot find it whatsoever. Yep, cannot see the last dead or tree at all. Tree so we need to find, uh, you know what can be ask. <laughs> it's one of the things, it's one of the contracts where it's just, yeah, it's not really the most profitable contracts. I was thinking if we're lucky to find all the trees, that's good. If we're not, then yeah. So yeah, for now, ooh. I'm trying to think of where I should do next. I do want to start developing this. Perhaps we can start looking at some equipment to lease. Start replanting the forest, so we need to get these bad boys. As before, so we've got the tree horser, got the grapple, and the fast coupler. So that's going to cost us 18 grand to lease. Ouch. Also, anything in the used market? Nope. We are going to need the suitable headers for it. It's not here. I'm assuming it'll be under, yep, it's on the forestry at the end. So this is what we want. And so yeah, I think we'll do a mixture of lodgepole pine. We may do some ponderous roses, but I'm not too concerned about that. But yeah, it's good to have a nice little excavator. Get the controls up. That's boom in, boom out, left, right. That's a tilt. Up and down. So yeah, typical controls. So we get the tree saplings to load up. Boop, 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 boop. That is actually a really nice size. Boop, doop, boop. So yeah, I am liking that. And so press L1 and X to plant a tree. Careful of the train, because we don't want to get hit by the train. Where is it to? Not on the map yet, so... Because in terms of how we want to do things like... I want to reserve this area a bit for the biomass heating plant. Also, reserve a bit of space here to... Actually, for using that trailer, that space is actually pretty good, so...
Let's just figure out how to control this, so... That's what we want out of here. Bit complicated is this, but yeah, just early in the controls. Bit more complicated than I thought, but that's one bit pushing that we need to remove. Is yeah, pretty much like so. So we're turning it off now. We're going to use that, that quite yeah properly. We'll use it in the next episode. But yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how this all looks. How dense it's going to be? Or will this be a really dense forest? So yeah, we'll come back to this in the next episode or two. Just yeah, going a bit quiet. Just. You know, like figuring things out, like controls and that. Okay, and first time using it, so a little bit of a learning experience. So, there we go. Also, with this moment, we did buy plot or field, whatever you want to call it. Farmland 42. So we owe that now. However, also, when we bought the sawmill, we owe all of this. And obviously to get this into the sawmill you need to obviously take it into the water and that. So I'm thinking if we plant some trees up here, get a nice little forest here, get the big yarder, and just go pull the pull the trees in into the little pond. So I should know it's part of the well, it's part of the river. But yeah, the little cove. So yeah, that's my thinking of that. That's gonna be quite good actually. But yeah, so a couple of things to think about there. But for now we need to hop. Where is the said train? Nope, wrong track. Yeah, I can't see it on the map because I want to cause a train. That's two kilometers away. Okay, see, so yeah, I think about just get sell some of those prefab walls, get about 17 ish grand. Because I want to get the beat crusher, or not beat crusher, the stone crusher in line production. 
just so that uh, we can pick up some of these stones that we're going to be chopping up with the little, our little picker here and then make some lime and sell the lime yes there's not going to be a lot of stones that we're going to be picking up however it's going to be enough so yeah I'll get you on this and then see you folks when we're done Luckily we left it at the shop and this is what we own. The other one that we had least that, that was at the I think we left at the iron mine. That of course got returned yesterday last night when we gone and bought everything else. So yeah, in terms of the amount of stones we get, it's actually a decent amount. A couple of thousand, about two thousand ish per load. So yeah, not too bad. So now, we actually do need to think about where to put Stone Crusher production in, so... I'm thinking somewhere up here at the farm. I'm thinking somewhere along here next to the fuel container. Actually, no. No, because I do want a bigger shed. So yeah, I think so you put a shed there, another shed there perhaps, then we can just have this etch out back. And I do want to create a little pathway down here, just a little shortcut down. A bit of terrain editing will be required for that, but... If we say put you there... I think then we have the stone crusher here, perhaps. Actually, we can have the stone crusher here, actually. Yeah, I should have biomass here and the stone crusher next to it. So, in theory, something like that. Boom. I am happy with that. So now if we go to our productions. Oh, it needs water as well, so we need a tanker for that. So, didn't quite think of that, but yeah, I forgot it with the update. Yeah, I forgot with the update it does require some water, but no worries. Can we lease a container? The water tanker, perhaps. No, we need a bit more cash for that, so... So 
since we did miss one bit of rock. Of course we're going to miss a couple of bits, a couple of stumps and that. And as and when we do come across those, we will go and pick it up. But yeah, all in all, I am happy where this is going. Actually, I think what I may do, I'm going to be a bit cheeky here. Just do a little cheeky loan. We will pay the loan off, don't worry. And I know this say we was going to be... This is the end. Uh, da, 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 da. Yep. So now, if we go and get the semi trader, bit of a cheeky lead, and with the unreal capacity of 250,000 years of war, I know I'm not going to need this amount of war, but I'll try to fill it up now. And then, yeah, that'd be another thing we need to purchase, but. You know what that? I am honestly fine with that, so... No trains coming. I'm going to be a bit cheeky. Do we have access to the pond here? And more importantly, in out of it quite easily. So yeah, I'm just going to let that fill up a sec, and then we will reconvene once this is all done so the air sat will do us fine for now I don't th think it's a big yeah it's a big cyclage you get a lot, lot of stuff done in a short period of time in terms of cycles per month so it's really more of an as and when kind of thing but pretty sure 100,000 a year should be fine for us where do you put the water in exactly? I'm not too sure. I'm assuming it's on the side or something. That's a good thing about getting rid of field stumps, is you don't have to worry about hitting any, any of them. Oh, yeah, I think it may just require just about 100,000 litres. Of water. So the next, what we'll do. Put some stones in. No, only 60,000 litres of water is required. And uh, with that limestone, we can choose to sell it or keep it. And for lime, where is the best place to sell? Best place to sell is actually fine off the lime production. So let's say let's skip half an hour. And already we're out of stones. <laughs> Very quickly, 20,000 years of lime. So in theory, if we say, you know what, we don't keep that, set that to sell. Still nothing in the used market. So I set you to sell. And then... So yeah, a little bit of money there. 12, 30, yeah, just under... About 12 grand, let's say, 7 to 19. So yeah, again, that is just, a, again, a little bit of passive income we can get. Yes, I mean, it's not totally passive because we have to do some work, but water is free from the pond. We do have this trailer already, so we could refigure it or reconfigure it to make a little tanker at the workshop as and when it's needed. Stones, not going to be a limited supply. But you know what? I'm, I'm happy with that. And on that note, that is where we're going to leave it today. So next time, yep, start doing the tree planting here. Get it all beautiful done, sorted, nice and clean. 
And yeah, this is going to be a real dense forest. Denser than the ones you can see. Like those, they look dense. They look a little bit dense. Per dense forest. So yeah. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to comment down below. If you want to share us, then please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But, first you do. Hope you're having a nice day. But for now, this will be fun with the stream. And I'll see you all very soon.